So a while ago I had an epic commentary called The, Mag the Battle for Magna Bottom. Do you guys remember that? It's on YouTube. Uh, in which Hey Catch, the uh, Space Room player in that game, suffered a humiliating defeat on, humil on, on uh, a Fallen City. So I'm sure he'll be eager to redeem himself with a win over N. Medayo, also known as uh, John Kanoak of Montreal. Now, uh, Catch is also in the States, so hopefully in terms of time zones, these guys should have no trouble getting some games happening, uh, so that Catch can return to gracing my YouTube page, of course. And finally, last but definitely not least, is Como, short for Cormora, named after the Dark Eldar homeworld, of course, up against Deathwing uh, from the Dark Angel uh, Terminator chapter. But uh, these guys are paired up for organizational reasons. They're both Australians. Deathwing can't play until after the 20th, and uh, Kamora is going away for a week anyway. But uh, by the time we've done the commentary for the previous seven, seven matches, I'm sure these guys will be ready to give us some awesome series. And then after all of those, uh, those matches are done, we'll be on to the round of eight. All right, so let's take a look at what maps will be used for the tournament. The system will work uh, as follows. For each round of the tournament, the matches will start with a single set map. So after that, the loser of the first game in the match will pick a map from the tournament map pool. And if it goes to a third or further games, like in the finals or in the best of five, uh, whoever lost the latest game will pick uh, a new map from the pool. So for the first round, that's the round of 16, like for all the matches that I outlined just then, each map will use Battle Marshes as the starting map. And uh, after, after that, after, you, after the Battle Marshes is played, the, the loser will pick from the pool. And if it goes to a third game, the loser of the second game will pick from the pool. And uh, bear in mind, no map is allowed to be used twice for the same map, uh, same match, of course. So, when the tournament gets to the round of eight, Meeting of Minds will be the starting of the map. And for the semi-finals, it'll be Outer Eight Reaches as the starting map. And for the grand final, we're going to be playing on Blood River for game one. Now, when you lose a match, you're allowed to pick a map in order to play um, the next game. And it can be from the following pool of maps. So, pay attention. Following pool is going to be Battle Marshes, Meeting of Minds, Outer Reaches, Blood River, Shrine of Excellion, and Fallen City. So you've got, uh, count my fingers that I'm holding up, guys, six maps. Uh, remember, if one of those maps was the starter match for the tournament, uh, for, the, for the map, uh, if one of those maps was the, was the starter map for the match that you're currently in, you can't pick it for, uh, to be used for a second time. Now, obviously, you can use it for, a, for like a future match. If you, if you win that best of three and you're onto a new one, you can obviously use one of those maps in the, in the next round, of course. So, uh, arrangement. Uh, arranging some of these matches is going to take some pretty careful organization. I'm encouraging players to get in contact with the person that they're going to be playing next and uh, arrange a match if they can. I'll be helping out with that by giving them uh, some details about their opponent and so forth. Uh, now, I'll be handing out the preferred times that, are, that your opponent has uh, chosen to play on, and I'll be doing my best to organize a suitable time for everybody. Now, um, it won't be necessary to get, get me or somebody else to come in to observe the match, just as long as you follow these rules and email me after the match with replays. So, the winner of the match is responsible for saving the replays and sending them to me, that's important. But uh, both players should actually save the replay throughout the match, and uh, just in case one player forgets to save one, you've got uh, the replays there. So send all of the replays of the match to volsc at gmail.com. That's an email address that I don't use personally, but I've set up for this tournament, so send the replays to that address. Now, one rule regarding the match organization is that you must not go and post the result of your match on any forum until I've posted the commentary of the video on YouTube first. That's important. Uh, it won't take too long for me to do that, so please restrain yourself for a short period of time. Uh, the same goes for replays. I'll, I'll release the uh, package of the replays after each round. Uh, so they'll be out there, uh, and you'll get to brag about it and stuff, but uh, nobody's going to get into trouble for leaking the information, but, but seriously, guys, I'll, um, I'll ban you from future tournaments if you do that, because I don't want you spoiling it for people that just want to watch, you know? Uh, so just just wait after your match is played. I'll, I'll post the results and then you can get into talking about what went wrong or right. All right. So um, there are some specific rules regarding what you're allowed to happen or do and, and, and what can go on when you're actually playing the game. Now, as the tournament name implies, the VRA, you must pick random as the race before starting the game. Now, after you've picked random, the game starts. You must immediately type a message to your opponent before you start doing anything to state clearly what race you got. Uh, like initials are fine, just type in DE if you've got Dark Elder, for example. Now, if both players forget, there may not necessarily be a disqualification, but if your opponent tells you his race, and you like fail to tell him your race, and or you delay, or you stall somehow, uh, you could be penalized. You might lose the match as a result, uh, at my discretion. Uh, now, don't intentionally, intentionally abuse any new bugs that you might have found in the new patch. It hasn't really been out for too long, and there might be some new stuff. Obviously, don't cheat. Don't use any third-party hack programs, anything like that. Don't do that. 
Uh, don't trash talk your opponent during the game. Uh, don't make you needless conversation to distract them. Just, just play the game. Uh, now, some specific stuff. If you get Elder, if you pick random but you get Elder and your opponent is Space Marine, so if, if and only if it's Space Marines and Elder, you're not allowed to get Ranger Infiltration uh, until Tier 2. That is, you can't get Infiltration until you've upgraded to a, a Soul Shrine. That's a balance issue. Uh, Eldar is a really uh, has a huge advantage against uh, Space Marines with that, that early game bonus, so we, we're going to get rid of that. Most players voted for that, so uh, try and keep that in mind. If you get Sisters of Battle, uh, if Random gives you Sisters of Battle, you're not allowed to make more than six Rhinos. There's a bug, there's no hard cap for Sisters of, Rhino, um, Sisters of Battle. Don't make more than six Rhinos at any one point in time. Um, again, if you get Sisters of Battle, uh, there's a bug where if you purchase a Veteran Sister Superior for one of your squads, it resets the timer for Angelic Visage and uh, Crack Grenades. So just wait 120 seconds after you've uh, used one of those abilities before you send it again, if you're in the process of upgrading a Veteran. Uh, see my thread for more details about that. Uh, and also, uh, Necrons, if you make a Deceiver, there are some bugs relating to that. Don't abuse those, those Deceiver bugs. So check, check out my thread in the details for more information on that. But just in general, don't abuse any bugs. Uh, I know you guys are not stupid guys, and we're not playing for money here, so I'm sure nobody will, will abuse stuff, but just keep that in mind. No bugs. So finally, and, and finally, please, please, just don't go and edit the default color schemes with the horrific looking colors uh, when random picks your team color. Uh, and, get, and it gets one of your screens. Just, just leave everything at the defaults for the color the color schemes because nobody wants to look at like pink space rings or whatever on YouTube. I mean, it's it's really awful. I mean, the, the preset color schemes are really cool. So don't do that. Anyway, I'm really excited. Looking forward to this tournament a lot. Uh, thanks for reading and watching. So far, uh, I'm going to be posting commentary videos as soon as games are played. I'll be... Uh, I'll be sending you guys uh, who are entered private messages just explaining who your next opponent is and uh, how to get in touch with them, when to play them and so forth. So check your inboxes guys and uh, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> uh, see you guys soon.